Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi. And my name is Toby. And today we're gonna do a reaction video uh, to, this is a two minute clip, um, so it won't be too long, short and sweet, but this is from Dave Ramsey. And the title is, Why Dogecoin and Bitcoin are Stupid Investments. <laughs> um, I have I a feeling this, this. this is gonna be slightly triggering, but uh, let's see what he has in store. Sure. Do you have any thoughts going into this? Well, this guy, you know, he yeah. he was telling people not to buy gold and silver back when it was very inexpensive. Um, yeah, and then he was telling people to go ahead and buy houses during 2007, 2008. So I know this guy has a history of um, uh, giving horrible information. And keep in mind, yes, he does give some good information, uh, to help people get out of debt and stuff, but he actually doesn't help people become wealthy and he does a very big disservice to people. I think he's definitely a, a bought and paid for shill for whatever he's doing and he definitely doesn't have your best interest in mind and so we're going to slam him right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go for it. Said Toby very calmly. Yeah. Okay. Chris is in New York City. Hey, Chris, how can we help? Hey, Dave, again, uh, great to be on the show. Thanks, how can we help? Yeah, um, uh, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to my girlfriend, Maria Jose. She told me to call in. The um, reason I'm calling is because I've got a lot of friends who are buying into cryptocurrency. And, you know, my investments are all in mutual funds like you recommend. Um, and I'm hearing about, you know, Bitcoin, Dog, or Dogecoin and all these other things. And I, I just wanted your thoughts on how to respond when people try to pressure you to invest into this stuff and maybe even get your thoughts on cryptocurrency in general. Okay. I wouldn't do it. Why? Because I think it's still very speculative. We've already seen big highs and big lows, and I think it's still rocky. I do think that crypto is coming and to stay. I think right now it's a lot of speculation, and until it gets adopted and we start seeing businesses move that way, I'd, I'd stay on the sidelines. And it's not a part of our investment strategy at Ramsey Solutions either. So there, there's that too, which Dave, you're far more versed in that well, than it, I am. You know, it's had, an, it's had an incredible year. Yeah. People made a lot of money out this year. <laughs> Better not invest in it. Yeah, volatility. You Better mean volatility on the upside to where people can actually make some money? The best performing asset in the past decade. In the history of the world? We should say that. I mean, how can they admit that it's here to stay and that it's not going anywhere? And did they not? But they're going to wait for it to get more adopted before you jump in. Yeah, so, you know, let them or whoever else is behind them <clears throat> go ahead and mm. purchase Bitcoin yeah. and whatever and then tell all the the poor sheep out there that the masses that actually listen to these people to go ahead and you know just have your you know 401k and you know have yeah. your manipulated mutual stock funds. market and mutual funds and all that other stuff and yeah don't pay attention to the best asset performing asset in the history of the world okay cool without yeah. a doubt no question about that um but they make a lot of money on cocaine too <laughs> Yeah, um, right. And they make a lot of money on, uh, you know, playing futures. And they make a lot of money at, at the blackjack table. And they make a lot of money betting football. But these are not investment strategies. That's correct. These are these are uh, these are hedges against the inflation that are going to hit you like yeah, a rock. They, I guess he doesn't understand what actually a global cur uh, money is. A hard money, uh, hard coded, where you can't have a central bank printing currency out of thin air whenever they please and a very transparent network as well with hundreds of thousands of nodes around the world. <laughs> Let's uh, keep going. Uh, things that you can jump into or jump out of that are uh, uber unbelievable high risk. And so the problem is is that people don't perceive the risk in Bitcoin and it's there. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, not, a, it's not fully adopted. They made a lot of money this year. Made a lot of money in gold a few years ago too. I'm telling people not to buy gold. And all the gold bugs are going, Dave Rams is an idiot. He doesn't understand. No, Dave Ramsey completely understands. I've lost my butt in a bunch of high-risk investments over the years. I quit doing it. I'm he just admitted that he's bad at investing. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so he, he is... The, the sad part about this is he has a huge platform yeah. where, like, millions and millions of people listen to this, this guy. Just his highlight, his YouTube channel. This is from his highlight yeah. YouTube channel, not the real channel. Has 2.29 million Poor subscri people subscribers. people that are listening to him right now. And, uh, you know, first off, he's uneducated on Bitcoin. He had nothing 
intelligent to say yeah. about it. So that's how you can tell a, a fake uh, is when they act. They have zero. You didn't learn anything from him, did mm -hmm. you? Probably not. So that's what you look for. You look for people that slam something and kind of like make fun of it and like and bring in all these other things like cocaine and whatever and say uh, <laughs> compare it to that and blackjack or whatever. Yeah. But don't, don't actually tear it apart from tr try to tear it apart from it, the dynamics of Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh, he, he never mentioned, you know, like it, could, it transfers. You can transfer, you know, billions of dollars over, you know, the entire world to anybody doesn't matter who at any time you want for what a couple bucks mm -hmm. like h how do you not see the value in that I, I see tremendous value plus you can hold your currency you can actually own it and it's a, f a hedge against inflation why is he not bringing this up he's clearly a wolf in sheep's clothing and yeah. and people like this drive me crazy I want people to stay away from this guy He's a he's a horrible horrible person for what he's doing. He's really a disservice for people uh, that are you know struggling with money, and especially like you know the, some of the churches that I, I've I've been to, they they worship this guy. They, that's mm. that's all they listen to about this. And I'm like, no guys, like this guy is bad. This guy is such a wolf. Um, you know, he he has nothing intelligent really to say. And the fact that he can get on this platform and tell people, hey. Uh, you know, this is a garbage investment and doesn't back up yeah. anything he claims. Uh, guys, make, guy makes me sick. I mean, it's either maliciously done or out of it ignorance. Is. It's it's and either done. of those are huge red flags yeah. because he's he's openly telling people not to invest in something that he himself is clearly not uh, educated himself on mm. whatsoever. And he can admit that people have made a lot of money on it. They can admit that it's going to be around for a long time, long term. But they have no, uh, they have no motivation to they themselves be educated to bring that knowledge to this huge fan base that they have for those people's benefit. I think also a big thing that plays into this is the fact that hopefully he's found some sort of success in the more traditional, much more conservative investment. Probably options doesn't want out to give there that up. and yeah he doesn't want to give that up because that's his bread and butter he knows that it's so easy for him mm -hmm. and he and has to learn all yeah, of they're the crypto so comfortable stuff. and yeah. to to step into something like cryptocurrencies that is very new very abstract to a lot of people he's gonna sound like a noob he's gonna sound like someone who isn't an expert in crypto and yeah maybe he's 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 hanging on to uh, yeah. the very last. So this is just something like we are here specifically as well to show people who are not good people in this space. And just you what know, to financial. watch out for and what, what we as crypto. I mean, we're not experts. No one's an expert in cryptocurrency because it's constantly evolving. There's so many different nuances of crypto to be an expert in. But we've been engulfed in crypto for eight years now and so for us to watch things like this there are some really obvious red flags that we want to bring to your attention that you as if you're new to crypto and you're not sure you know maybe this guy's legit maybe his concerns are real um i mean everyone has their own risks uh appetite for risk but there's some obvious red flags with this so that's all we have today for you for crypto tips uh, if you like this like it and subscribe uh, follow us on um, Twitter and Patreon, and also uh, stay disobedient. Uh, don't follow the wolves like this. Mm. Follow us instead. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.